I don't know how to prospect. Can I still be successful in growing my home business? Hello, my name is Fernando, coming to you from beautiful Geelong, Australia, with 60 seconds of motivation, inspiration, tips, and resources to help you grow your home business. Um, I lie, it's going to be a little bit longer than 60 seconds, but hopefully, there's value for you here. So, that's my question. Hopefully, you can hear me okay with my microphone here. I'm at the, at the beach, it's a beautiful day, summer's day here in Australia. But there's my question. Um, I don't know how to prospect, can I still grow my home business? I don't know how many times a day I hear that, people saying, my biggest challenge in my business is knowing how to uh, attract, how to recruit, how to prospect people. Now, if the key to success was prospecting, then I think salespeople will probably be the most successful, right? Because sales, salespeople uh, typically don't uh, tend to fear rejection as much. They've got pretty thick skin. Uh, they can take a no, right? They do it all day, every day. And uh, a lot of them, if they're particularly good, they like the thrill of the close, right? Uh, sharing an opportunity and closing the deal. And you might be thinking, well, that's not me. Um, I don't know how to do that. Well, there's hope, right? Because really, success in network marketing does not come down, believe it or not, to prospecting alone, okay? Yes, it's an important skill. And yes, it's a skill that you want to develop, but it's, it's how do I say this? It really annoys me uh, every day I see posts on Facebook, social media, even from industry leaders bragging about how many people they brought into their team in the last 30 days, in the last 15 days, you know, they quote numbers, 50, 100. And it sounds great and you might be thinking, oh man, if I brought that many people into my business, I'm going to make it, right? I'm going to make lots of money. I'm going to have all my dreams come true. Except it's not true, and I know that for a fact because I've coached over 3,000 people in the industry from over 50 different countries, 40 different companies, and, and they're not winning the game because here's the story. They recruit a lot of people on the front end, but what's happening to them on the back end? They come in, they sign up, they have a hope, they have a vision, and then they don't know what to do. So in my opinion, humble opinion at that, more important than being good at prospecting you want to be good at duplicating. You want to be good at developing your team. You want to be good at believing in your people. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, you want to be good at believing in your people so that they can go and start doing what you're doing. So where you want to focus your energy is in developing a system, if you don't have one with your upline, of duplication and transformation. Because, okay, yes, you become good at prospecting. Let's say that you bring in five people in the month and you can show them how to do what you do so you can plug them in. But even that's not going to be enough because everybody comes into this industry with a set of programs that are conditioned from a young age that's going to run them. It's going to run you, it's going to run me. And unless we start to transform ourselves, to see ourselves as the person that can uh, achieve the results that we want, we're just going to self-sabotage every time. And we, I might talk about that in another video in more detail. So let's go back to the question. I'm not good at prospecting. Can I still build a successful home business? The answer is yes, you can. Because you can get support from your upline to help you bring people into your team. You could do three ways. There's so many things. Ideally, you become self-sufficient. And that's something that we teach in our team. We teach people how to duplicate within seven days to go and do what we're doing. But, but we, we want to help people plug in so they get a vision for themselves and they can model what you do. So then every, every person they speak to, they're not just a number. They're actually someone they're going to impact, someone they're going to help achieve their goals. And so I just want to invite you to consider that for a minute. That you might be struggling right now thinking, you know, I'm not very good at prospecting. Um, what hope is there for me? Well, there is hope. And I want to invite you to leave me a comment or send me a private message if that's particularly an area that you're struggling with because it's not that complex when you really understand what to do and you can systemize. But more than that, what I want to help you with is how to actually duplicate because, and transform because if you can take care of those two things, then even if you're only bringing two people in a month, you can have incredible success potentially, right? There's no guarantees, but potentially uh, over time, if you continue to do that and teach your people to do that. So I want to leave that with you. I want you to leave me a comment. Let me know what, of, what part of this message resonates with you. Um, how does this help you? 
Uh, and again, you know, don't get caught up in the numbers games. I've heard many leaders also talk about how they've recruited when they first started hundreds of people, but most of their success came from a handful. And that's the handful that took hold of the vision, a handful that learned how to duplicate, a handful that was willing to challenge their beliefs and set on a path of transformation for themselves to then go and create incredible uh, incredible results, massive success, you know, by, I guess, industry definition and standards. So let me just see who we've got here. Elba, thank you for joining in. I've got my hand on the camera. There you go. Uh, uh, Ross, thanks for joining. Uh, Sandra, honey, thank you. Uh, got other people on here. What have we got? Juan David, thanks for joining from Melbourne. Tanya, Rocio, Cheyenne. Awesome, guys. Well, hopefully this makes a difference for you. Let me know your thoughts, your comments. And if you have people in your team, you might have only one person that you've got in your team right now, uh, and you want to get them re-engaged, and they might be struggling with the whole idea of prospecting, share this video with them. You know, help reignite their passion and let them know that, you know what? Yes, you need to learn some skills, but more important than becoming good at prospecting. And prospecting becomes easier when you understand the real purpose of your business. That's, a, again, a topic for another day. When you learn to uh, let go and realize this is not about you as much as you think it is, but it's about those people you want to help, you're going to be compelled into action. You just won't be able to help going to share an opportunity with someone, but someone that's qualified and someone that uh, you can make a difference for. So with that, leave me a comment, send me a message.